The Sister Wife's Secret, A Grey West Mystery, Book One, by Anya Mora, narrated by Subhadra Newton. I'm a cult survivor and a single mother. At 29, I'm trying to piece my life together. Now that I'm finally settled in a place of my own with my two youngest children, I'm determined to make a life for myself. I've even started my own home business. Things are looking up until I find my friend murdered. I know my ex-husband did this to get back at me. He's been looking for me since I fled Garden Temple. He wants control over me and our children. For the last year, I've been acting the part of a suburban mom, hiding from my past. But it's catching up to me. I have no choice. I was the sweet sister wife long enough. Now it's time to be the woman who fights back. The Sister Wife Secret is the first book in a new suspense series. Chapter One There's no such thing as perfect. I know that. But it doesn't stop me from fluffing the pillows on the second-hand sofa, meticulously arranging the tray of fresh veggies and dip, and lining up each clipboard on the coffee table in a straight line, setting a blue ballpoint pen on each one. The papers clipped to the boards explain everything the ladies, who are coming to my home party tonight, need to know about joining this fun and exciting new venture. I need to work on that wording. It sounds a little too salesman -y. And that isn't what I'm after. I'm trying to share this amazing business opportunity with my friends so they can reap all the same benefits as me. Okay, that sounds equally pitchy. Mom! Ruthie shrieks, running into the kitchen where I'm adding ground beans to a pot for decaf coffee. Olive's trying to scare me! At eight, Ruthie has perfected melodrama. I don't mind. I like seeing my youngest daughter express herself. After so many years of burying our emotions, I'm here for this. Olive, 12, enters the room rolling her eyes. I wasn't trying to scare you. I was just being honest. I twist my lips, flipping the coffee pot on. Honest about what? Olive told me to go to the basement, and then when I was down there, she turned off the lights and said there are ghosts. Is that true? I lift my eyebrows. Olive, stop it. You're working her up for no reason, and I need you both on your best behavior tonight. The party is going to start in five minutes. No one's even here yet, Olive says, dipping a carrot in the ranch dressing. I walk to the living room, peering out the window. No cars are pulling up, but I see a black sedan parked down the street. My throat goes dry at the sight. It has been pulling up there every night for a week. Not wanting the girls to see me worry, I turn to them and shrug. I think it's different here than it was at Garden Temple. Here, women have lots going on with their jobs, families, errands. It seems like everyone I talk to mentions being overwhelmed. It's a new concept for me. I grew up in a place where there was always time. Long, never-ending stretches of it. Which is why having sister wives is smart, Olive says, twisting her long blonde hair in her fingers. Her words sting. I didn't fight so hard to escape only to have Olive consider our old life preferable to the one we have now. But I don't let my irritation show. My daughter needs time to get over the indoctrination she grew up with. Olive sidles up next to me, looking through the window out at the neighborhood. It's a far cry from the compound. Here there are green grass lawns, SUVs in every driveway, street lamps glowing down on the street, making sure everyone and everything is seen. There are no secrets here. Everything is out in the open. 
It's why I moved to this home two months ago, leaving the run-down apartment we'd been at for the year after running away. I was determined to move my girls from the shady apartment complex, even if it meant we were house poor. Rent is more than half my paycheck, which is why I've started this home business. Wellness is a line of wellness products, created by a woman named L. Christopher. Organic, essential, and life-giving products. At least that was what Anna, the woman who signed me up for this business, claimed. After I tried a cough syrup when Olive came down with a bad cold, I was hooked. The products sell themselves, truly. Sister wives may be good for lots of things, I say, pushing away my feelings. I miss Lydia and Beth so much it hurts. But not everything. Olive purses her lips, acting like the preteen she is, and shrugs. It's better than this. It's boring here. I exhale, frustrated with her. Children are a blessing, but my God, are they stubborn. And Olive is just like her father. She digs in her heels and can't see any other point of view. Ruthie smiles, mischief in her eyes. It's not boring. We live in a haunted house, right? Olive laughs. I really didn't mean to scare you. The phone rings and I head to the kitchen to grab it. I got a landline for the girls when I'm at work, but no one has the number. Sure, it's a telemarketer. I tell them to take me off their list. But after I say my piece, there's no response. Just heavy breathing and then a click. The call ends. Who was it? Olive asks, close on my heels. No one, I say but my gut knows that's not true. Jeremiah may have finally found me. I consider pulling out my phone and calling Patrick, texting him at least to see where he is. He's supposed to be here tonight, helping me with the party. We aren't dating. He's never even made a move, but I know he cares for me and my girls. He's done plenty over the last few months to show me his character. He's wealthy, sure, but he is also generous. And I know if I felt unsafe, he would do anything to help me feel protected. Over the last two months as we've grown closer, I've tried to open up with him about my past, but it's hard. Now, though, maybe I need to get over that. Sure, opening up means letting myself be vulnerable, but it also means having someone in my corner and right now, I could use a champion. As if reading my mind, my phone buzzes in my pocket. I pull it out, and there's a text from Patrick. Patrick Kelly. I'm so sorry, Gray. I can't make it. But I've been thinking about you all day, and know you'll do great. All day? Seems intense. I want a friendship with Patrick, but not more. I'm not exactly sure how to say that. I'm new to all this. Friendships with women, I understand. But men? I've never had a man in my life besides Jeremiah. But that isn't what really bothers me. He isn't coming. My stomach flip-flops. I was not prepared to do this alone. Me. What do you mean? Is everything okay? Patrick Kelly. Things are fine, but I got held up with work. Trayden and Anna messed up an order. They're here now helping to fix it. I'll tell you about it in person. My thumbs hover over the keyboard, unsure of how to reply. Patrick Kelly. Let's go on a walk tomorrow morning. On Ruston Way 9? I consider the next morning. The groceries can wait. And I know Patrick will want to talk about the party. The wellness products are his whole life. He's the top wellness recruiter in all of Washington State. It's why his sister, Anna, started selling in the first place. Me. Sounds good. Meet at your place? He sends me a thumbs up. I put my phone away as a neighbor walks up the driveway. I exhale.
desperate 